AMT Ertl's 1932 Ford Vicky Jalopy Stock Car coming up next on What's in the Box? What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in this box? What's in the box? Hello everybody, my name is Trevor Slescu and I'm the owner of Monster Hobbies in High River, Alberta, Canada. Welcome back to our What's in the Box series where we are examining the Ford model kits of AMT Ertl, and tonight we're going to look at this 1932 Ford Vicky. And don't let the box art fool you because you can build this kit in one of three different ways. So now let's go down to our bench and open up the box and see what's in it. It's racing time again as we unbox another great model kit. This time around, it's a 32 Ford Vicky Jalopy slot car. Now, don't let this box art fool you because you can actually build it one of three ways. Right there, three in one kit. Jalopy stock or custom. Now, this is an interesting kit because it's actually from Dirt Track Race Cars. Sometimes AMT Ertl would actually produce a kit if somebody, if a different company came in and said, can you produce this for me? AMT Ertl would say, sure. So that's sort of what is the story behind this kit. However, it is still AMT Ertl's old 32 Ford kit that most of us remember from the 1970s. Which was before my time, actually. But <laughs> when I grew up, there was still a lot of these kicking around. So, wow. There's the instruction sheet, and they show you an explosion of all the parts. Then they actually show you how to build it. So, much like the 32 Ford Phaeton, you're getting the same parts for your engine. So you have a flathead Ford and a Thunderbird-style engine, the same stand, the same undercarriage, and the torsion bar custom uh, suspensions on both. But what makes it different, of course, is the Victoria body style, which is a really nice two-door type of sedan. As well, you get the color callouts, which they don't actually have the letters where they are, like in a Ravel kit on this one. But I can't deny that I really loved these flames. And we're going to look at that decal sheet right now. But before we do, the nice part about the dirt track race cars is that they give you instructions in here and you need a lot of evergreen sheet styrene uh, to make your own stock car interior so that you can build the one on the box. It's just a one-page sheet. And to go along with this, they give you a complete set of stock car decals. Very different ones. There's 102, the Thrummer Brothers. Here is 540, the uh, Jackson VFW Speedway Champ. And then, of course, the kit-supplied decals. With these are also extras. Fast Freddy, number five, and Trenton's Texaco. But these ones here, many of us older modelers will remember these. These were the ones that originally came in with the kit back in the 70s. And I really love the flames, how they loop around on each other. That was always cool. Always a cool decal sheet there. And now let's just move our box top out of the way for a minute. And there is the chrome. Like I said, if you look at the Vicky or the Phaeton video, you'll note the same exact chrome tree. Now here's a sweet treat. They actually mounted the fenders on the cardboard, much like the 32 Chrysler model kit from AMT. That gave it some support so it didn't warp or get crushed in the box. And of course, here we have in this nice, tight, tightly packed bag, we have the window glass and the Vicky body with that nice little curve back there. 
And there goes my stuff on the floor. And now looking at this, without really opening it, I can tell you that this is the same parts tree that is in the Phaeton. So if you need to, watch the Phaeton unboxing kit. And last but not least, there's our Firestone narrow tires, as well as a Goodyear wide front and back. And that is our review of the 32 Ford Vicky Jalopy slot stock car. We hope you enjoyed this series of Monster Hobbies What's in the Box, where we got to look at the 32 Ford Victoria. And if you would like to check out some of the other unboxing videos in this series, please check them out here, here, and down here. And don't forget to subscribe to us right here so that we can continue in this awesome series. And remember, if it's going too fast, it probably is. And then we will see you again next time on What's in the Box.